Everything, man. All these, all this destruction and the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai by the way of what chariots of the Lord, which are the so-called UFOs. None of these things shall fail. That's if you have if you have faith. See, if you don't believe, you're just gonna be caught on your ass while these things come to pass. Because Romans three and one or three and three tells us that. I should get that real quick. Romans 3 and 3. I need to finish that. Can you brothers get Romans 3 and 3? That's not holding the scripture. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Right. Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Alvash Mishnah power without effect? Right. And you know what that means? That means this thing is not about you, it's not about us. About the heavenly Father and His Son Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. So even if you don't believe and you lack faith in what the prophets are teaching, all right, with the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, none of these things will fail. They're still going to come to pass. Hello, sir. To buy you, what's happening here? Sorry, God. About to sign the downfall of this wicked kingdom. Sorry, sorry, prayer meeting. I apologize. Do you have a question, another question other than that? Oh, like what kind of church is it? It's for the Israelites. Oh, sorry. I apologize. I have to go. Sorry. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Take it easy, man. Uh, we're okay. I read Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mates. Sorry, guys. Right. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. okay. Shall want her mate. Any of you brothers know what that means? Read it again. Uh, Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. What does that mean? And like compare the Bible to any other like, book. As like, it says, it stands on its own. So. Why is that? Uh, because it's prophetic. Exactly. It's prophecy. It's not actually about the past. Furthermore, has all those things and then prophecies that, that come to pass. Like case in point, slave trade, the slavery, the prophecy of the Lord bringing us over here by the way of ships. That was prophesied all the way back in Moses' time. That's thousands of years ago. And it came to pass. So you can't compare this book with any other book. And you Israelites need to understand that there's no other book for you but then the Bible. 
Yeah, so, so uh, yeah, real quick, you saw, so what the brothers are going into, all these, all these fake religions here, yeah, these religions are fake, okay? None of their books, none of their books go into prophecy, go into the history of the world, right? Everything that they talk about in regard to the history of the world, right, was, it was basically stolen, stolen from the Hebrew Israelite economy. Okay, because we have it documented, the Lord has set it up documented with the prophets, right? Going all the way back to Adam, okay? And we know, we know about the Noah story, right? Every one of these fake religions have a Noah story. They have, they have stories about chariots also visiting them, right? So, hey, there's nothing for you to tell us. Absolutely nothing, all right? Seek ye from the book of the law, which are these scriptures, Right where, where our salvation is, is set up, the nation of Israel, going back to going back to uh, the, the, the nation of Israel, it's, which is simply the house, the, the house of David that goes back to the word economy. That's what that word means. Also, it, uh, 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 house is economy, and it goes back to the laws of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, and they know it, okay? But they got to give you their version. Anyway, go ahead with three seconds. Okay, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10, and the point will be made in uh, verse 12. So it says here, The preacher sought to find out acceptable words, and that which was written was upright, even words of the truth. The words of the wise are as gold, and as nails fastened by the masters of assemblies, which are given from one shepherd. Now a goad, if you understand what a goad is, it's an agricultural tool, right, that folks the ox in the direction that it needs to go, right? And that's these words. It pokes us in, in the direction that we need to go when it comes to serving Yahweh Bashi Shai. And nails fastened by the master, you know, this this word, if we stay grounded in it, it keeps us, it keeps us uh, uh, down to earth. You know, it keeps us level. Um, tended by the masters of assemblies which are given from one shepherd and further by these my son be admonished of making many books there is no end much study is weariness of the flesh so there's only one book because you know, if you get into all these different books all these different type of philosophies you know it's a weary it wearies out your flesh right it wears it down right so the main book you should be staying in is really the scriptures right? and even the scriptures if you, if you go the scripture the, the bible also says Take not rough and paraphrase and take not anything that's, that's above your strength. Even with the scriptures, you have to have a balance when you're reading it. And you can't just go into everything and anything. You stick with the milk if you're new. Really, the meat, you really don't get into meat until about eight, eight to ten years up. Eight to ten years up. But even you, the, but because we're in the latter days, a lot of you new, new brothers are getting meat quickly. You know, you don't really have the amount of time that some of us brothers have been in the school, maybe 10 years, 9 years, whatever, and up, you don't have the time we did in that school. You're getting to be a lot faster. That's also prophecy. And the apostles always go into as well, like, um, um, you know, like sometimes when you're studying, your body starts to break down. You know, your eyes start to dim, you start to glow, your body starts to hurt because you're actually studying. You know, studying is, is a lab it's labor. Sometimes you, you forget things, sometimes it's hard. I noticed that because I was in school when I came to the truth. And I noticed that, um, you know, studying things in the world, it caused me to lose a lot in the flesh. You know, and while I was studying the word, and it's truth, right? So, you know, it's true, the scriptures don't lie. And, you know, there's many books that are written in the scriptures, right? There's compilations of different books. So you have, you have a lot of books to keep you occupied in this space, so there's no need to go and branch out and to learn all these other things in the world. Right? Like the Bhagavad Gita, uh, the Quran, those books are useless, man. Oh, man. Um, 
Well, the answer is you can't compare this book with any other book. That's the big so like a lot of people like to make this book the scriptures with like the book of Enoch, or they like to make the book and make a comparison with um, uh, the Quran, right? Or any other book of any other religion that can compare it. Or even some of these philosophy books they have in the world. Uh, they like to compare these philosophy books to the Bible. But you can't make a comparison to that because the Bible has it's a living word, it's a living word. Things that are spoken in this, in this book are coming to pass and have come to pass. So you can't compare. This only it's the only true living word on the planet. That's what that means. Yeah, that's why I broke it down earlier. And the, the prophet, excuse me, you went, in, went into the precept form, right? But what they do is they they, they, take, they take our scriptures, right, and make their religion. Psalms 96 right. and 5, the gods of this nation, the gods of the nation are idols. Yeah, right? If somebody could get that precept real quick, uh, as a matter of fact, it's on here. It's on here. Yeah. Okay. Bring it up. This is Psalm chapter 96, verse 5. For all the gods of the nation are idols, but the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai made the heavens. Hey, simply put, right? That's that's it right there. Hey, so where do they get their stuff from? Where do they get it from? Well, from the left side. That's where it's from. All this stuff, all this, the, 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 these false religions. Falsifying. Doctor of this, doctor, uh, uh, doctor of uh, 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 yoga, doctor of this. Come on, man. Hey, you, hey, you can't stop it. And you know it. Anyway, that's the point on that. There's, uh, there's a few other scriptures on here, but it's on there, too. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead, brother. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Isaiah 54 and 16. Seek ye out the book of the Lord and me. No one of these shall fail. I shall want her favor. For my mouth did have commanded his spirit they have gathered them. Alright. And uh the most high's mouth has commanded it. And that's that's the prophets. That's what the prophet that's what you have shy. So the prophets were giving you how shy's word. And everything was given to you how shy. So now the prophets are sent out throughout the whole world to prophesy this truth. Alright? We're bringing in we're we're heralding in Yahweh Shai. And that's a special thing. Man, while the world is focusing on fucking Kentucky Fried Chicken, sandwiches, what they're going to do this summer, where they're traveling, marriages, just like in the day of days of Noah, you have men, a small cluster of men, that are hailing in the Heavenly Father's Son, the Creator, right, His only begotten Son. And that's, that's, like, and that's, that's a very beautiful uh, uh, and special job and position and lot in this life to do. Because a lot of these people that we see out here, and a lot of you Israelites that reject this word, they're going to die horrific and horrible and horrible death, man. And that's not that's not coming from me, that's coming from the scriptures. Yeah. This is Isaiah 5 and verse 10. It says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not, not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. Right. It shall not return unto me void, right. but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. You see it, man, like really, when you're looking in the news, like this whole Title 42, I don't know if you're rather updated on that, the whole Title 42 thing, where you have all these immigrants coming into America, right? And a lot of these immigrants got tuberculosis, they got lice, they're sick, they're ex-convicts, mafia gang members, and they're just flowing in into America, 40,000 of them per month. Recruit? Yeah, yeah, they can. Yeah, yeah. Somebody can probably look up the word recruit. Just unhold it. Adding right to that pot of Jacob's tribe. Yeah, you're gonna bring all these people into the border and they don't have no place to stay, they have no place to live, so they're gonna have to come with all these welfare and programs, which are gonna shoot your taxes right through the roof when you're already in the midst of inflation. Uh, 
Janet Yellen, the, the Treasury Secretary, uh, the Secretary of the Treasury of America, is saying that the debt seems too high. She's saying by July, June, it could be it could be done. Lord willing. So everything is being uh, uh, the Lord is constructing all the pieces for Jacob's trouble, man. And you have to really think with your mind. The Most High was, was, was angry with the ancient world before he flooded it. He was furious with the ancient world, and the ancient world was, 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 was giving it to sodomy, idolatry, and everything that it is today. Now, it's like thousands of years later, that's like a hundred times even worse. That's why faith is a gift. Because that's the only thing that's going to get you through Jacob's trouble, man. Just a quick point on the whole side of the day. Um, if you go into the whole uh, life situation, you notice that um, the CEOs of that company that they put uh, to market their product. So a lot of consumers that buy Bud Light, the majority of them are men, because you don't hear it's a man's thing, right? But um, a lot of them don't want it. And um, like about, what, three weeks going into four weeks, their stocks have dropped. And it has went down 29%. So they lost billions and billions. So it's not about, it's not really about the money anymore when it comes to these CEOs and, and making a profit. It's about pushing that philosophy, that wine, because the consumers don't want it. Because if, if they wanted to really save money and to please their customers, they would have changed and removed Dylan Mulvaney. But they're not doing that. So is it really about the money? And are we really in a democracy when you really look at it? No, because it's not functioning that way. So this place is disgusting and it's tyrannical. And it needs to be taken down, man. Yeah, so real quick. So yeah, that's one of the philosophies on here. That this beast system, they're part of that beast system. And uh, you, you, you mentioned a great point, right? The philosophy, which goes back to that, that nasty wine it has here. Uh, it's, of course, democracy, when you go into that word, demo, demo, going back to demons, right? And it says religion, idolatry, homosexuality, lies, adultery, covetousness, right? And murder, right? So homosexuality is under. So it's serious stuff, man. point so that's it's not wrong with the word but when this system uses that word right this is what you're going to get this is what you're going to get it's all the fallacies hey all you have to do is just turn on the news and see it so yeah um using the word recruit that's 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 what that's what uh, that's what's going to happen to most of those people and the jakes that are coming up through there they're going to be judged right so you're going to get recruited and you're going to get judged Unless the Lord separates you, if you're of the hopeful elect coming through there. But yeah, there's no nothing good about the word recruit when it comes to this system. There's a reason why they're coming all over the world because it's not just these Christians are going to America. Uh, well, life, 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 uh, our our nation is busting them to the water, so across the water. So you got to think about like.
back all of these spirits that the majority of them are here to receive their judgment for the latter days. And if some of them were to, to be saved, even the ones that are already in the spiritual realm, the Lord's going to send their spirits back in their bodies to come out, the, the, uh, come out of those graves. Like when that happened when Harashai rose again the third day. The third day. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next, uh, I got a I got a, I got a quick precept for the whole immigration thing. Right? Um, this is Ezekiel chapter thirty-eight, verse eleven. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land among walled villages. So you know, there's no, it's artificial water. There's really no walls. Which really, it's not really a good kingdom because when you go back into the ancient world, they always had like walls to protect the kingdom. They always had like a little moat and gates so the, so the people wouldn't invade. But that's why Trump, he wanted to build a wall, right, in America. But then it didn't come to pass. And that's because prophecy has to be fulfilled. And you know what's going to take out this word? Vicious term. Vicious term, they complained that uh, uh, he lost the election, right, by uh, corruption. Which it was. So, unwalled villages. So there's nothing surrounding. So people are going to come in and, and be immigrants and migrate, right? Yeah, those voting systems are actually uh, you're slavery, slavery registration. And when you vote, they ask you if you're from America or not. Remember what, uh, because generation, it goes back to the word genes, right? So it just means coming back in the genes, which means just coming back in the flesh. So you come back through your line of your father's father's father. Right? That's all that really is. Yeah. I got a precept. Third and fourth generation. Yeah, you go ahead. Ezekiel 20 and 35. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people. There will I plead with you face to face. Like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I plead with you, saith the Lord Power, Yahweh. And I will cause you to pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the rod. The rebels, and them that transgress against me. And I will bring you forth from the country and they shall not enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. That's right, man. And that word, when you go into that word, all you gotta do is look it up. You dummies. It just means judge. The most I can judge. The majority of Israel is gonna get judged and they're gonna be put to death. Right? And the small cluster of Israel, which is called the elect, are gonna be judged. Right? They're being judged right now. But what is it doing? It's cleansing them. This is their that this is their this is their purification process. As soon as any member of the elect come into the truth until until the day they die or get beamed up, they're being they're going through what you call a purification process. Right? They're being purified. Right? So and you know, so like it, yeah. okay. technically two thirds of Israel, they're also being purified. It's just that your purification process is by the way of fire and death. Yeah. I was gonna say that that okay. um, it escapes me now, but I was going to say that no matter what, all of Israel is going through Jacob's right? Right. right. Everybody got to face the fire. Right? Fire of purification, and some are going to face that eternal fire, the nuclear missile. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 6. It's filled with 
filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of kidneys of rams. For the Lord Yahweh hath a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. Yeah. And let me ask you, brother, this. Two questions. One, where is Basra today? Because you know that's prophetic. Okay, so why would America be Bozra? Generation came back. Yeah, you're not wrong, but there's a specific reason, right? Bozra is a landmass of Esau, of, e of, of uh, Edom, but it's a, ch it's a chief city of the land of Edom, right? So the chief city of these Edomites is America. You see what I'm saying? So that's how you know. If you have the faith that Bozra is America, it is, it is, it is real generation. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. yeah, simplified, he was going yeah, yeah, yeah. and then yeah. going to. But I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, oh. a chief, it's a chief city of Edom. So America's a chief city, because really these Edomites run the world, but America's are a chief city. Yeah, they're the power seat. That's why Yahweh has come and killed Bozra. And well, really, that's the chariot. His physical garments are not going to be stained. It's really speaking exactly. of the chariots and the amount of bloodshed that are. I think it even goes into it in Revelation where uh, how furlongs are, how high it's going to be. Yeah. That's right. Thank you, brother. Yeah. 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 From, from here to Leamington, Ontario, <laughs> you understand furlongs. No, we didn't count. Isaiah 63. Yeah. 63. Yeah. Literally. Um, one. But, you know, it's actually right. Isaiah 63. Is that all that? Yeah. Isaiah 63. I'm there now. Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel. Right. Who is this that comes from Edom with dyed garments from Bozra? So just told you right now, they told you right there that Bozra is a city in Edom. Right. Right. Traveling in the greatness of his strength, which is what I alluded to, is the chariot. Yes. Chariots, yeah. It's parabolic. It's not really going to, he's not going to stain himself. Right. Yeah. He's a high priest. He's the high priest, and the high priest, you don't get no garment. When they put on the ephod and, 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 the, and the special garment, you don't get nothing on that. That's right. Very sweet. Yeah, being poetic. He would be defiled if his garment was stained. If you understand if you understand what the priest goes through. There's, there's a change of garment after the atonement. He puts on a warlike garment. Right. But it's all it's all Correct. figurative. That's true. Yeah. It's That's all right. figurative. That's what we're spiritually going into. What? You're right too, because um, when, when, the, when the Edomites, when they sacrifice these um, animals on the altar, they have to tear it down. So, compare those filthy animals to these Edomites that he's going to be killing. Why would you want those blood on the altar? It shows you that. Like them unto the pigs. Exactly. And it shows you that uh, America is an altar. That's why all the, again, going to the immigrants. Right. All the, with the priests of Isaiah 13, the Lord's sword is going to be filled with blood of the rams, the goats, the lambs, all of them. So all these immigrants, like uh, immigrants, are coming to America because America's a huge altar. And that, that fence that built yeah, by Donald Trump, yeah. it, it cuts both ways. Right? Yeah. There's a lot of people are going to be trying to get out and can't get out because of that fence. The 50 minute cities, too. Right? So we'll lock them in there. Yeah, lock them in. <laughs> yeah. right. Bring it up, brother. Beautiful point. It, that's okay. the spirit. It went back to it. So these are the spirits that are. Go ahead, please. Okay, so this is Revelation 18. And uh, the subtitle of the chapter is Babylon has fallen. So this is Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. You know, and that's the message that's being put put to these people as well, right? It's put out by by the servants of prophets. Started starting uh, starting uh, comes from Yahweh Shai, the prophet from the Father, and and so forth like that. They're putting that message out that Babylon is fallen. Hey, nobody else is talking about it, right? We get that instruction from the great millstone, the Lord, uh, the Lord's prophets and apostles. 
right? And elders on down, read to the point. Verse 3, For all nations have drunk the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, mm -hmm. and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the, the abundance of her delicacy. Mm -hmm. Right, all the, all the spirits we already read it. Right? No, get to the foul spirits because that's the point pointed in there. Yeah, we already read it. Verse read it? two. Okay, uh, I'm so, going over. Okay, go here. Just emphasize verse two. I just want to talk about those, those foul spirits, right? Because all of that's here, right? All those people are coming over, those recruits and the people that are there. All, all these, these, these are all spirits, right? Yeah. We, we see it. This guy's trying to say that somebody's trying to kill him, yeah. right? I want to ask him. Was he in full black with a big hat? <laughs> right? The <A> ZZ Top. <laughs> right? Uh, did, 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 did he hold you on and give you, um, what you call it, what they call it, paralysis on the bed? Sleep yeah, sleep paralysis. I guarantee you he'll give you a story along those lines. So, yeah, Paul's spirit. Just read it again for the record. Okay. Point is that. Fair enough. Huh? Revelation chapter 18 and 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great has fallen, has fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and evil bird. Beautiful. Hey, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if you get sleep paralysis. Don't be surprised. You better call upon the name of Yahweh Shimon and try to get you out of it. That's the point I'm trying to make with these spirits. Every spirit is here, right? And the Lord has set them free to do their work. Separate people with the stuff that's going on, even men in the truth. Right? That's some of the things uh, so-called men in the truth who claim to be in the truth are doing to, to other men. Right? They can't even talk about it. Uh, uh, they have to come to you personally and explain it to you. Hey, and you it's heart-wrenching. Go ahead, brother. That's the point. point about that is that you find this, this is an altar, too. What we're doing here is an altar, too, on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. You got an altar for the sacrifice of wickedness. Really, you can liken this to the altar of sac sacrifice of wickedness because we're coming to do this so that we might be saved. And we're touching our people. Right? And the scriptures say that if you have anything in towards the Lord, you're talking about how the brothers treat each other, that you're supposed to leave your gift at the altar and go amend that thing before you come to the altar to make a sacrifice. You know? So you really can't be prophesying and having something against the brother that you're prophesying with. Isaiah chapter 47 verse 8 real quick therefore here now given to pleasure of the fantasy that saith in thy heart I am none else beside me I shall not sit as a widow neither shall I know the loss of children right? and that's what America says they think they're not going to lose anything because they're that uh, virgin Babylon they're a virgin daughter of Babylon they've never experienced war before they've never experienced any losses on this soil. Yeah, and the sorcery is deep, man. You can tell, after everything, else, you can tell these guys that, you know, a missile's coming to, to rain down on them right now. Yeah, you can tell them that a missile's coming down right now. You can tell them that a missile's coming down right now, and they'll still go to the grocery store or go to the fast food restaurant and grab some Kentucky Fried Chicken and sandwich. Why? It's because their minds are deluded with this, with this wine. They're not aware. That's why the scriptures say it should come to them as a thief in the night. These two things shall come in thee in a moment, in one day, right? Uh, which is what that one hour of destruction, one day, symbolically, right? Uh, the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries. A lot of sorcery has been done on this side. See, out and about, you see, you see these people, man. There's spirits on them, and also there's just spirits around the, around these people in general, because of all the, the wickedness, the witchcraft, the sorcery that has been done throughout the generations since America has been established, right? So you have a lot of Freemasons in high positions doing uh, wickedness. You have a lot of warlocks, evil people around here, psychics. So that's a, that's that's a, that's a lot of, uh, uh, of demons, you know, and, and uh, spirits. In Revelation 18 and 1, it says that her sins are reached unto heaven. So if, those, if these destructions are coming in, in the multiple, in, in the perfection of the multitude of sorceries, you really can't even imagine the type of the type of misery the Lord is bringing. <coughs> and uh, I have the word uh, enchantment. It's Habar. Association, company band, shared, shared association, society 
a magician charm or spell. And uh, that's exactly what happened in Egypt, man. You had the magicians that came up against Moses. They threw their rod and their staffs on the floor and they turned it into snakes. You saw all the type of sorcery that doing, they, they were doing. So this is Egypt all over again. And that's what they do, man. And, you know, it's right before your eyes. It's in the television. It's in the food you eat, the food coloring, uh, the high fructose corn syrup that you're eating. That's all sorcery. That's all magic, man, you know, to get you to go down. Yeah, you can't walk barefoot. You can't walk barefoot. Throws rod down, that means it's power, right? But we know who controls that power on the left hand side. Uh, last verse, uh, and it says, Of thy sorceries, for the great abundance of thine enchantments, for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. Because the wisdom of, no of, wisdom of wickedness is not uh, uh, knowledge. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. So, okay, I turn it. That's in Sirach. I just said it backwards, right? What did you say forward? What did you say? No, the before. Wisdom. No, what did you what did you quote? You quote it wrong. Quote it wrong again. Let me hear what you said. It's okay. The knowledge of, of wickedness is not wisdom, I, <laughs> but that's in Sirach, right? Yeah. Nineteen and twenty-two Sirach. Yeah. 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 Brothers, know why that is? Can you explain why that is? Yeah, because um, wisdom. So Rock 19 and 22, mm -hmm. the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. So, so the answer is in the statement. Hold yeah. on. Listen carefully. He's going to ask you. Not, the, the answer is in the, is in the precept. Yeah. But he, that's what he's, at, he's telling you, but he's asking you. time the council yeah. considers prudence right because wisdom comes from God so why is the knowledge of wickedness not wisdom you got you, you got an answer yeah there's no fear of the Lord that's simple yeah. that's, yeah. It. that's it I'll say it again there's no fear of the Lord okay. Okay. All right. the knowledge of wickedness doesn't teach you the fear of the heavenly father right. So right. It's just rebel against him what's the beginning of wisdom you? brother that's it there, there it is yeah. you know, it's from righteousness, right? He perverted them. But what you're saying is not wrong. I'm just saying it goes deeper than that. That's it. Here's, a, here's one way to understand it. Um, he's, got a, is what? he's got a precept. Go on, brother. Bear with me here. Let me finish his thought. No, let him read this first and then go to your point. Read it, brother, because he's going to say the same thing that you're going to say. Read and then make your point. Go ahead. Proverbs, Proverbs 1, verse right. 7. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Right. All right, now that's tell him. So what? Right, that's it. That's how you do it. So, Elder, I'm going all this. Because knowledge, right? Knowledge is understanding your experience, right? And what's wisdom? Your wise words, ways, and actions, right? So you get that? So when I, so if knowledge is your experience, understanding what you've experienced, and your wisdom is your wise words, and ways, and actions, you know better not to do these wicked things. You understand what I'm saying? Because knowledge is having the experience of the understanding. You went through it. Wisdom is how you perform. It's, yeah, but, it's application. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you have to you have to fear the Lord. Every all your thought process, all your actions, 
the things you say, the foundation. And he has one more. Proverbs 9, verse 10, says, The fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. The knowledge right. of the holy, separate, right? The Lord has show, shown us the, elect, the difference. Right side, left side, right? And so which knowledge, is the purification. Remember, knowledge is understanding of experience. So, so this is because that's the purification process. That's, that's the purification process. The, the, the understanding is with the holy, to the holy being purified, right? They're going, they're, they're, they're going through their trials and tribulations, and what are they applying in those trials and tribulations? Faith and fear, constantly, right? Uh, that's the experience. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, I'm going to put one real quick right after you. Uh, so this is uh, Galatians chapter 3. Just to go along with uh, what Mayan was bringing out about the law and the ordinances, right? Uh, yes, it's twofold. You do need the law, but, um, you know, you have to be practical when, when applying the law as well, right? And that's why you know, I came here to replace that schoolmaster, right? Because it became a burden onto us because we didn't know how to use it, right? Yeah. So anyways, it says, uh, Galatians chapter 3, verse 23. It says, uh, but before faith came, we kept under the law, shut up unto the faith, which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster. Now, when you look at the word schoolmaster, right, let's check that out real quick. Because the schoolmaster is strict. It was very strict. The law didn't play with us, right? Even though we didn't know what we were doing, we still got, you know, we got punished for it, right? Um, now, it says here in the Greek, schoolmaster. And it says, a tutor, a guardian, a guide for boys, among the Greeks and the Romans, the name was applied to trustworthy slaves who were charged with the duty of supervising the life and morals of those belonging to the better class, right? Going along to what you're saying, it's a guide, right? So, um, um, it's really to supervise us, right? That's correct. But you have, you have, to, you have to have faith, and it has, you have to be practical. Because you can get severely judged, you know what I mean? Following? Yeah, yeah, I follow. Okay, all right. I'm going to go back here. Read that one more time. Yeah, this is Galatians 3 and 24. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Yahweh that we might be justified by faith. Thank you. There's the one before you said about faith came in, faith came to us. Oh, okay. So yeah. verse 23. But before faith came, we were kept under the law. Shut up to faith. Shut up onto the faith. Right. Which should afterwards be revealed. Right. So before Yahweh Shai came, that's the faith that it's talking about. We were we were stuck under the law. Now, what that basically means is that we had no hope. That's what faith is, right? Faith is a substance and evidence of things hoped for. Every so thing that things. But what were we hope? What 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 were we and are we hoping for as Israelites? Salvation, the kingdom of heaven. So when Yahweh, when Yahweh Shai came and did those miracles and forgive sins and died on the cross for Israel, then faith was given to us. Now it's about faith. It's, a, it's about your integrity, your sincere effort in hoping for the kingdom every single day. That's what it's about. So you still got to apply works though. Yeah, we yeah faith without works is dead. No, James, of course, yeah. of course. If you're not, if you're not applying works, you don't believe. That's the point. If you're not, if you're not applying works, you don't believe. If you believe, you're gonna. If you sincerely believe, you're gonna do the works. I got one point. Yep. Knowledge is your understanding and, and the experience, right? Okay. You experience something, then you gain the understanding. That's knowledge. That's not new things, right? So I'm going to use that as, as an example. So he has been tuning in from you as a kid. He mm -hmm. loved a lot, a lot. So he's very on point. So he knows like, what not to do. Like, he doesn't even smell for it. Or, like he tells you, that's what don't come here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he knows. So he never had the experience sure. of like having You get what I'm saying? But his father taught him, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. When, when, when the Israelites, we always had a teacher. We always had a teacher when we were, when we were coming to Israelites. Those teachers taught us the law. You know what I'm saying? But we weren't perfect. We still broke the law, but the ones that we, we kept, some of the laws. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So we didn't really have the experience of breaking some laws. You, you get well, what I'm saying? We, 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 we did not 
statement is yeah, read, it says Galatians 3 and tw uh, in 23, the 23rd yeah. verse, right, it's speaking, it's, a, it's glorifying Yahushua, it says when faith comes, right? right, so that's why I was asking that question, yeah. right, because he's the faith, right? but the prophets, right, and those that follow the prophets, they have faith, that's what, that's what we're going into, it's not that they didn't have faith, right, but they weren't quite perfect, right. but then, Right. That's yeah. why it says so, that he didn't come come to destroy, but to fulfill. That's right. 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 That's right. Right. But we weren't perfect. That's a simple answer. That's a beautiful answer. That's it. But they had faith. I just wanted to say that. Yeah. But the Lord, when Yahweh shot out, came on the scene. And we received him gladly. Right. Because of the gift that he put in us, the gift of faith. Okay. Fear. Yeah. Yeah. I know I didn't finish. Oh, you finished. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 these scriptures are loaded, brother. Yeah. These scriptures are loaded. But go ahead, man. Finish up. All right. So this is Galatians chapter three, verse twenty-four. It says, "Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Yahweh, that we might be justified by faith." So the law was set up to bring us closer to Yahweh, which we know Yahweh is the law and is the word. So a lot of people, they put more substance into laws, laws, reading it and doing it, but they're not giving the credit onto Yahweh Shai, and that's where they fall short, and then that's where they fall, that's where they're not practical when, when, uh, when they're giving out the law. Well said, right? well said. Uh, it says, uh, verse 25, but after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. Now, does that mean that we throw away the law? No, 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 it's not that we don't throw away the law, um, but... It's just that uh, we're going to keep it, you know, we're going to keep it, because we know it already. It doesn't mean we just throw it away. Yeah. Still, the law is always going to be there. It's eternal. And how can you grow your faith if you're not a person who That's right. Judges 5 and 11. Yep. The law was done away with you. Right. So live how you want to live, and just pray. Yeah. So then your faith is corrupt. That's why I said the law is the scriptures, because Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book, right? So, he, so the law is the scriptures. Ecclesiastes 19, 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of Him, and wisdom obtaineth, obtaineth His love. It's one of my favorite precepts. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life, and they that do these things that please Him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Yeah, read that again. Uh, you want from right started? Or? Yeah, read okay. yeah. Ecclesiastes 19 and 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted accepted of Him. Right. And wisdom obtaineth His love. Right. Right. And that love really goes into what? His mercy. And then your obedience. He's going to have mercy on you based upon your obedience. If you're not obedient, you're going to be destroyed. If you're obedient, He's going to have mercy on you. Right? Go ahead. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do these things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Yeah. The bodies in which we will be perfect in righteousness. And if we're perfect in righteousness in, 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 in the law, we're never going to die. That's what we want. Because that comes with uh, 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 countless of blessings that reach even into different planets. You know? Go ahead. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom 
and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency. Yeah, all wisdom is the performance of the law. So we're fighting to get perfection in wisdom, right? Because we're going to get those perfect bodies. And when we get those perfect bodies, we will, we will have all wisdom because we will be able to perform the law 100%. Correct. Uh, remember what uh, Samuel said to King Saul. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obeying the law and performing it, that's better than doing a million sacrifices, man. Sacrificing rams and lambs and all that. Verse 21, if a servant say to his master, I will not do as it pleaseth thee, though afterward he do it, he angereth him that nourisheth him. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. Right. What is a prudence? Let's look up prudence. Let me get that definition up. I think it's to look ahead. The one thing about sinners, we're all sinners, but one thing about people that love the sin is they're in the moment. They don't think about the consequences. They're so in the moment. Why? Because it's given to their flesh and their lust. Go ahead. Uh, prudence in the etymology, intelligence, discretion, foresight, practical. In the Bible? You guys Hebrew Israelites? Yep. Okay. I don't know. I'm just checking it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come, if you come around yeah, here, yeah, you can come right. You can see um, this. Yeah, right there. That's good. That's fine. Seven heads and ten horns. But you guys see yourself There's on this side? That's Jezebel, right? Uh, it's Jezebel's spirit, but Jezebel. you guys see yourself on this side? Well, my name's Ion, so... Where are you from? Are you... Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Sri Lanka. Okay, you might be an Israelite, though. Yeah, a lot of our people are scattered across the world. Shai means he is a deliverer. Get Acts 5 and 30, uh, 29. Yeah, God, God is like our salvation, basically, right? Yeah, Yahweh Shai is the salvation yeah. only for Israel, though. What, what, what about in the book of Isaiah where it says he'll be a light yeah. to the Gentiles as well? Okay, right. But now when you go into history, there's two kinds of Gentiles. Okay. There's, there's one Gentile that's an actual heathen, which means they're outside of this country. So a spiritual Gentile. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay I'm listening, me, I'm listening. Yeah. There's one Gentile that's an actual heathen, okay, which means they're the outside get of this the country, Gentile. which oh, means their bloodline does not relate back to these people. Okay. That's okay. one Gentile. Okay. Then you got another Gentile, and you get the Bible dictionary too, for the tab. Captivity and, and indoctrination. Yeah. They yeah. started taking on the customs of the heathens that they were living with. Okay. So yeah. they became Gentiles. Became Gentiles. Yeah. So when this, okay, so go ahead, get Christians. So before you get that, when you when you hear about the Gentiles, yeah, you have to understand that's talking about that can talk about the Israelites that are in a Gentile state of mind, yeah, or the actual literal Gentiles that are not linked to Israel by blood. Right. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to discern both. Okay. What about in the Book of Revelations, where it says all nations will praise? Them. Praise God. Like all nations will be gathered. Yeah. Wait. What's good? In Revelation. Yeah, that's what it means. You have yeah, some? Me, yeah. Let me just read the. He's gonna give it to you. Concerning the the Gentiles, right? Yeah. So this is First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse two, and it says, "Ye know that ye were Gentiles, were yes. yes, carried away unto these dumb idols, right. even as ye were led." Right. Right. So, so as you were saying, you have to understand the truth. So we were carried onto the idols of other nations. That's right. That's right. And that's why we became that's Gentiles. Right. Yep. Right. That's right. And, and also, you, you're, you're talking about Revelation, right? Yeah. yeah we're, we're, we're scattered right. amongst that's all right. nations. We're just scattered. Right. Israel is scattered everywhere. Right. Right. Israel that look Chinese, yeah. Sri Lankan, yeah. so-called West Indian. Okay. But mm. our, lineage, our lineage goes straight back to Israel. Right. But not because you look a certain way, I mean that's that's your nationality. Right. Because you don't really know. 
right? Let me get this for you. This is Revelation 7 and 9. Okay, so it says, After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, kindreds, and people, and tongues, stood before the thrones, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. Now I'm gonna look up the word for you. Yeah. It's, it's a uh, in its original language, which is Greek, right? Yeah. So look up the word multitude, nations, kindreds. So the word there is fule. Right. And it means it says in the New Testament, all persons and descendants from one of the twelve sons of the patriarch. Says that? It says that right for, here. For, for the word nation? Yeah. Oh. Fule. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Fule. Fule. Right. Interesting. All in the New Testament. Okay. What passage is this? This is uh, Revelation 79. What's this like? What's this website here? It's an app called Blue Letter Bible. Okay. okay. Yeah, we so, used to look up words and stuff. Okay. So now, I have a precept for you. A precept for you. Yeah. As we were scattered among all the other nations, yeah. and that goes back to the curses that fell upon uh, this nation. Okay. So this nation, as you see here, was cursed. Okay. Um, when you go into Deuteronomy 28, yeah. Yeah. from uh, 15, 15 verse all the way down to the 68 verse, okay. it shows that we have curses on us. That's right. So we're going to be scattered among these other nations, and we're going to be looking like That's right. That's right. So I have a precept here. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. It says, And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people, mm -hmm. from one end of the earth unto the other. There thou shalt serve other gods, just yeah. like what the brother just mentioned. Yeah. So we're going to be into uh, Hinduism, we're going to be into yeah. Islam, we're all be these into, things. Yeah, all of these religions. Idolatry. Idolatry. Yeah, these are all, idolatry. this is all, all yeah. idolatry. So it says here, which neither thou... Correct. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. And wood and stone is going into stone is going into Islam and the wood is going into Christianity. And you know what all you these hmm? what's the wood part? Because of the, the cross. The cross made out of wood. Okay. Right? The cross, yeah. right? So you know when, when you go into the church and see yeah. the cross yeah. made yeah. out of wood, yeah. 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 that's what it's going into. I feel that. So yeah. these philosophies, these uh, doctrines, our forefathers we didn't know that in the ancient world. Mm -hmm. but, they, yeah. but we know them now coming back in the flesh. Okay. That makes us Gentiles. Right. Right. So anyways it says here and among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. And that's why wherever we go as Israelites, doesn't matter what color you are, we get no rest among these other nations. Right? <laughs> that's why we went through hardcore slavery. That's why we're treated bad. Hey, did you ever hear of the cities in India? Did you ever hear of the cities in India? The untouchables? Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. They're, they're, a ca they're a very low caste in India. And they're, they're, they're treated just like the blacks over here. They're okay. treated just like the Native Americans. Okay. Okay. So they go back to Jacob mm -hmm. when you go into the history. Because right. the Bible deals with secular history. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So wherever we go, we're always treated bad. Mm -hmm. And we're under these curses. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Now it says here, Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. But the Lord Yahweh shall give thee their a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. That's right. And the brother will take for their. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes sense. I only got one word. Yeah. Sure. What about John 3 16? Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's get it. 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 Because it says God so loved the world mm -hmm. right. that whosoever mm -hmm. shall believe in him. Now, if somebody get Hebrews 1, 2, I sundry it, times. I got it. Because what about in Acts where there's non-Israelites who are receiving salvation? I got John. Right. Beautiful right? point. Good. So, you got John. Someone get Hebrews. What about the eunuch of the emperor, empress you know, from uh, Ethiopia? Yes. An Ethiopian yeah. eunuch. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Right? It's going to attack one Someone get uh, Hebrews 1, the sundry times? I got the world. No, get Hebrews. Somebody get Hebrews 1 2. Okay, so John 3 and 16. For, for, I'll read it for, read it. for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
Right. Now, I got two precepts in my, in my mind. Now, okay. one thing that majority of people don't do is look up words. Okay. In, the, in, that, in that passage, the word world yeah. goes back to cosmos. Right. Which goes into what? An arrangement of people. Okay. A line, a lineage right. of people. Right. So it's not talking about the whole world. Okay. Right? And right. now, if you believe in the Bible, I do, in yeah. John 17, mm -hmm. the Lord said, I pray for them, and I don't pray for the world. That's right. So if he came to save the whole world, why would he make that statement? Well, there's two ways you can interpret the word world, right? That's right. right. That's right. what I just said. Right. You have cosmos, you have ultimate. Okay. Those are two different uh, definitions of one same word. Right, right. And that word here, you guys have Okay, that's our language. Right here. Original. By the way, the word that he's looking up is in the Greek. Yeah. This is, this is yeah. Isaiah chapter 45. Mm -hmm. And it says, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. That's right. It didn't say the rest of the world, right? That's it said right. Israel. And it says, Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. Mm -hmm. World. Yeah. yeah. So world without end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. What about that? Isaiah 6? Isaiah 6 I think it's Isaiah 6 where he says where he says that not only is he going to save the Israelites because he's so grand that he's going to save the Gentiles too. But who are the Gentiles? Remember we he said earlier. But, but he differentiates the Israelites from the Gentiles. So right. That's the thing though. And when you go into so history. So there's no way he could be talking about Israelites in. That's why you got to go into history. Because. Hold on a second. That's why you got. Yeah. Huh. That's why you go into history. Because the Israelites that knew they were Israelites were focusing on keeping the law to be forefathers. The Israelites that didn't know they were Israelites were regarded and considered as heathens and Gentiles. Right, right, right. right. That's how serious it was. I get Israel. what you're saying. I get what you're so saying. What I get what you're saying. Yeah. But just what about the one word, John 3 16, whosoever? You just broke that down. Yes. Now you broke down the world, but you didn't break down whosoever. So, so if the world means an arrangement of yeah, people, be careful. Be careful. Sure. you would have to just link that. If it's an arrangement and a line of people, people right. whosoever in that arrangement okay. and line of people, because all Israel will be saved. So he said, whosoever among Israel. Can I bring out this precept? Okay. Bring out your precept. Right. James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is an enmity with God. That's right. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. That's correct. So now you have John 3, 16 saying the opposite, but it's not the opposite. Yeah. It's what the brothers said. The world. World, exactly. right? It, it can either be oikomeni or cosmos, That's but correct. still here, That's it's correct. cosmos here, but it's speaking to an arrangement of people, right. a specific people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Precept for you for the Gentiles. Yeah. This is Romans 11 and 11. It says, I say then, that they stumble, that they should fall, the most I forbid, but rather, through their fall, salvation is come to the Gentiles, or to provoke them to jealousy. Right. Now, this is, uh, this is, this is going into uh, the prophet, the disciple, which later on became an apostle, uh -huh. right? Um, he actually wanted to make the commonwealth of Israel jealous. That's why it says provoke them to emulation. Right, commonwealth. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah commonwealth. Do you know what the word commonwealth means? Uh, no. not, not entirely. It's what we're talking about. Yeah, okay, so it just simply means it just simply yeah, means yeah, Israelites yeah, knew they were Israelites. Mm -hmm. They knew they were Israelites and right, they felt right. they were right. prideful. They're very prideful. Yeah. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to go on to the Gentiles mm -hmm. because they're a lot more humbler. They're still from Israel, but they're a lot more humbler because they they, they love the Lord more than them because they didn't grow up into it. So they, they know what it what it feels like. Right. On, on not having the law, such as commandments, for yeah. a very long time, okay. right? So it says here, let's go back. Um, it says, it says here, in the riches of the world and the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? For I speak to you Gentiles, in as much as I am the apostles of the Gentiles, I magnified my office. Because you know he was a Gentile before, right? Yeah. And now well, he's who, coming who, back. Paul? Yeah. Who's right. that Gentile? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you mean spiritually he's a Gentile. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Listen carefully. No, listen carefully. No, listen carefully. No, Say it again, brother. He was killing the believers. That's true. Right. Of, yeah. of the Lord. So yeah. he was in a Gentile state of mind. Right. Yeah, and he was Roman too. Right. Yeah, he had Roman citizenship. I'm Canadian. Okay, okay. I don't know. I know it's 
says here, I magnified my office, if by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh, yeah. right? Yeah. She's talking to them, yeah. right? And might save some of them. Right. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but the life from the dead? For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. If the root be holy, so are the branches. Right. And if some of the branches be broken off, so that's talking about the Gentiles, yeah. they, they were a part of that holy lump, they were a part of the olive tree, but they fell off and broke off, yeah. and they were scattered among the other nations, yeah. looking like them, speaking like them, eating the things yeah. that they eat, that's serving right. the gods of their that's gods, right? right? Yeah, so they were broken off for a yeah. period of time. Now they're coming back. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. So that means they're grafted in. They're, they were always a part. Yeah. Okay? I hear you. I hear you. Um, then it says here, boast not. I'm sorry. It says verse 17. But if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree. Do you know what a wild olive tree is? No, I they're don't. a wild in the world, doing, okay. doing wickedness. Okay. Uncultured. That's right. Uncultured. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. And we're grafted in among them, and with them partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree boast not against the branches. So we're not supposed to be proud against Israelite foreigners that are coming in. That's why he okay. said to you, you could be an Israelite. That's right. Yeah, all you could guys be. could be Israelites. Okay. Right. That's why we're doing this lesson. Yeah. It continues. Yeah. But if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Thou will say then, the branches were broken off, that I might be wrapped in. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got some? Yeah. Joel, Joel, Joel chapter yeah. 2, verse 32. And it shall come to pass... That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord mm. shall be delivered. Mm. For in Mount Zion mm. and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. That's right. As wait, the wait Lord, a wait a minute. Beautiful right. point. Hey, right. deliverance is not coming from here. No, no sir. sir. Yeah. No sir. Read it again from where Mount Zion. No, For Read. in Mount Zion, Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. Keywords being in. Right. Mm. Right. right. That's right. As the Lord hath said, and in the remnant. Whom the Lord shall call. Right. So that's straight, man. Now, for the remnant, because earlier the brother said that not all Israel is going to be saved. Right. There's going to be a remnant. You hear about the remnant. That's correct. Right. The that's correct. elect. That's correct. So that's what that means. So in John 7 and 35, it says, Then said, I'm sorry, 34, Ye shall seek me and shall not find me. And where I am, thither ye cannot come. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go, that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? Now, look at the word dispersed. From the word diaspora. Right. And it means here, scattering, dispersion, and it says of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations, okay? So they knew, you had, that's why there was a whole rift between the, the Israelites, the Sadducees and Pharisees, yeah. and the Gentiles, mm -hmm. because there was a prophecy that the Lord would provoke them to jealousy. That's right. Because the Gentiles, like you said, they, in their mind, they were sincere. They that's wanted right. to believe on the Lord, right. but they just didn't know the law, and they came under customs of the heathens. You had the Israelites who knew that they were Israelites were boasting themselves in the law. That's correct. Instead of boasting themselves in the, in the Son, in the yeah, Lord. That's right. You know? Yeah. I got a quick precept. Matthew 15 and 21, the point is in 24. Then Yahweh Shai went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of no, Everybody. He was but, sent to everybody. But he all answered these, and said, I am people. not sent, but to That's the right. lost sheep. That's the a lost good point. Sheep. That's the a lost, good point. The lost sheep. But he still healed her, though. Yeah. What about the woman that he <laughs> so came that to? What what's about the, the woman he came to? And she said... But even the dogs get the crumbs under the tables. Right. And he said, I didn't see faith like this in all of Israel. And he healed her. Right. So, that's so that means Jesus even admitted that she was not a Jew. He admitted, he admitted simply that she believed. Even though she was uh, looked upon as a heathen, as a Gentile, she believed. So that means she was one of those Israelites mm -hmm. that, were living, that was in a 
Gentile state of mind. Okay. That's right. all that means. So, that means. Hold on. Can I just ask right. you? Why would, he, why would he say she's not a lost sheep? Because, because Jesus don't lie. Understand? Right. Right. are and who the elect aren't okay that's why he answered them that way and that's why she was healed okay you follow that i follow that yeah sorry can i just ask really quickly if you guys just so i make sure i'm following you guys yeah. correctly in one i guess like what is it that you guys are trying to demonstrate what are you guys trying to prove like in we're, one we're, statement we're teaching the truth <laughs> according to the bible uh -huh. to israel okay but what is what is that though if you guys could sum that truth up okay so the sum the truth up would be come back fear the lord you want to mm -hmm. serve him uh-huh and you won't be destroyed okay Okay. That's right upon us. You see that digital currency arising? Yep. Mm -hmm. And if you're not built up in the faith, if you're not given this truth, then the scriptures say that wisdom and knowledge will be the stabilities of your times. Mm -hmm. The times that we're coming to. So if you don't got that wisdom and knowledge that you're an Israelite, the Lord's name, his true name, mm -hmm. his son's true name, those are foundation things. Yeah. yeah. Right? And then the purpose of Yahweh Shad, if you don't have that knowledge, you're gonna fall when all hell breaks loose. What's the purpose? The purpose of Yahweh Shai is salvation and mercy. Right. To, these, to, come, to bring mercy to these people. These people. Oh, sorry. Okay. The second coming. Just to be, like, so is it is a prerequisite of having salvation being, like, from a literal genetic bloodline lineage of these people? Yeah. Yeah. Now, that might sound, but we all don't know. We can't trace our bloodline to Israel. Mm -hmm. That's why it's based upon faith. Romans 8 and 16 will right? tell you that. So, this, this, this precept will answer your question. This is Luke yes. chapter 1, verse 68, and it okay. says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, mm -hmm. for he hath visited and redeemed his people, That's right. and has raised up, raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. That's correct. Specific. That's correct. It says Israel. And that's, that's God's son who's in the house of David. Right. First, we're letting you know that Israel looks like the everybody. Judah, the lion and the tribe of Judah. Right? Israel looks like everybody. So, but it's not how you think it is, right. right? It goes back to the lineage as he's asking if it goes directly to a specific lineage. Yes, everybody that's Israel will go back to the same lineage. Yeah. Lineage is Israel. Line is very thing. important. Heritage oh, is very important. What about Romans okay. 116? I don't want to take all your time. No, 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 yeah, we gave it. We gave it definitely. Yeah. yeah, I hear you. I hear you. We're gonna read this piece up for you. Go ahead. Romans eight, yeah. verse sixteen. Mm -hmm. Start fifteen. Verse fifteen. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, right. whereby That's we right. cry, That's Abba, right. Father. That's right. right. Go ahead. Yep. The That's spirit right. itself beareth witness with our spirit mm -hmm. that we are the children of God. That's correct. Right. So it's the spirit that's within each person that's going to coincide with what the, each person is speaking that's going to identify that's right. that the unit play. And it says we've been adopted though. Add option to add back. We were cut off. Remember, there's two covenants. Yeah. The first one yeah. with Moses yeah. in the wilderness that we broke. Yeah. And the Lord said, I'm done with these people. Go okay. serve your idols. That's right. Uh, hence the whole purpose of the son. Come back to what bestowed mercy. And fear. Okay. That's the whole corpus. Okay. You're going to that covenant. Start at verse one. The point will be made in uh, verse six. Okay. Yeah. So Galatians chapter four, verse one, and the subtitle says sonship in Christ, mm -hmm. which is Yahweh Shai. Sonship in So it says here, now I say that heir, as long as he is a child, different nothing from a servant, then he be lord of all. But he is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Even so. We, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, the Most High sent forth His Son, made of a woman, made under the law. Which further proves that Yahweh Shai came back the same way that we came in the flesh. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, uh, he didn't, you know, his mom didn't sleep with an angel, an angel Gabriel, and then they had, they had a baby. Mm -hmm. That's not, he actually came in the flesh. There's a lineage that proves that Yahweh Shai is from the line of David. 
comes from the son of Jesse. He's the son of Jesse. Yeah. Right? So anyways, it says, made of a woman under the law to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of the son. So we were redeemed. We were bought back through Yahweh Shai's sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So we received the adoption of son. So we were grafted back in because of his mm -hmm. sacrifice. Yeah. So before, you know, we were orphans. Yes. When the Lord, he turned his faith, his face away from us. And that's why he didn't like us, right? So that's why he gave us his son. That's right. To, to bring us back in. Okay. okay. So I, I just wanted to bring you. that point out, you know, the adoption. I make sense. Okay. Make sense. I hear your perspective. I hear that. You know? And then one thing we also teach is very important. The true name of the Lord is the Son. Okay? Jesus can't be the true name of the Savior. Because the letter J only came into effect. In yeah, it's an English word. It's an English word. That's right. Yeah. Now, we go into the, some people say, uh, Yahweh, I, E, S, U, or something like that. But when you go into the ancient Hebrew language, there's no, uh, E's, E's, O's, U's, and O's, and U's. And V's? Yeah, and V's. No J's, of course. And no J's. And so you exclude those words, you wouldn't, those names that other people use wouldn't be correct. And we teach that it's Yahweh Shai. And the Lord's name is Yahweh, okay? which is the name that he gave to uh, Moses. Acts uh, 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. That's right. That's so correct. That's, that's also a cut to a lot of believers think the Lord has 99 names or multiple names. That would be confusing to people. That would be confusing to people because it says there's no... Uh, there's no other name. Yeah. yeah. There's only one name right. that we can be saved by. That's right. But it also says that all people groups, all tongues will praise him, right? Right. But they would they would say that name. Okay. No matter what language they're speaking, okay. they would say Yahweh. I hear that. Yeah. Or Yahweh Shai. Does Will Smith's name change if it's in Spanish? Or, um, or French? It's still Will Smith. You know, Peter is Pedros in, in, in Spanish. And he was so, Cephas in, yeah. in right? But if you, if you speak Spanish, you have the Lord the Spirit on you. I think you call God Yahweh Shai, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think you call Yahweh him Shai. Jesus too. Oh, uh, it's not his true name. But what's your name? Yeah. Zion. Zion. But if I said Matthew, would you respond to me? No. But Why? if you call me Sion, I would respond to you because okay. that's a different dialect. Yeah. And right, but, but you wouldn't respond to Matthew, right? No, that's a completely Why? different thing. Because Matthew is not a translation of his original name. Okay. Okay. That's like, that's like so them calling Jesus okay. Esau in Arabic, but so his name is Jesus. So is a translation to Yahweh Shah? In Greek? No. In Greek, I assume. Yeah. And it means salvation. Right? right? But so if you Jesus. translate the Greek into English, it becomes Jesus. But to Hebrew, he's a Hebrew Israelite. Okay. okay. So is Jesus a translation Was you say I have a question for you. Just because, okay, I could be on the street, right? Let's yeah. just say I'm a street guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my real name is Jordan, right? Yeah. But on the street, they call me Poker. Yeah. Now, if my family, what are they going to address me as? Are they going to address me as Poker or are they going to address me as the name that they, they named me by? Listen carefully. Right? Right? He said, you must, un you must understand the question, what he's asking you. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. You guys don't understand the question. Ask him again. Alright, so, so, so that, like I yeah, said, you know, okay. if, I'm, if I'm on the street, yes. I'm going to have a street name yes. that my street buddies are going to call yes. me. Now I have a family name. Yes. Family name! Right? So just because I have a different alias, that doesn't mean my family's going to call me by that alias. That's correct. Right? So that's correct. what we're getting into. I hear what you're there's saying. A, there's a specific name that the children of I Israel I, I are going to call upon. So, then, so if, if the children of Israel say you. Jesus, mm -hmm. is the Lord going to answer that? The answer me. <laughs> No, no, no. Is he going to answer that? Is he going to answer that if you know the true name? Let's just say you're in your household. You're the king. You're the dad. Do you, want your, do, you, do you want your son calling you by your first name or do you want him calling you dad? Because that's very disrespectful. Well, I call God my father too. Oh. Another, another way to look at it is this. That in that time, I heard you saying no. You know what I mean? In that time period, um, it was a common knowledge amongst the disciples. Amongst the men of the Lord, they would say that I'd rather eat pork than speak Greek. You have to understand that that is the language of the heathen. So okay. how are you calling right. your Lord right. the, 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 a heathenistic name? Okay. Right? That's an understanding. Okay. Read yours. I got one. I hear you. Read yours. 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 Read yours.
And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in the Mount Zion in the Jerusalem shall be delivered, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Right. So the, the, the Lord said, anybody in the Mount Zion that call upon my name will be delivered. Mm -hmm. Zion being Israel, they spoke a language, which is Hebrew. Right. Yeah. And I guess Zephaniah 3 and 9, whoever had it. Zephaniah 3 and 9. Zephaniah 3 and 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may all call upon the name of Yahweh to serve him with one consent. Mm. With one consent, which means one understanding mm. of one name. Mm. A pure language. Mm. What's this? Paleo Hebrew. Lash one kadash. So you can't you can't call you can be sincere in your heart and say Jesus, but once you're given the name. Okay. Now you're given the proper direction. If you still okay. go left, pure, he's not going to be listened to you. Okay, so if that's what if that's your basis of, of proof, then why would Paul write? That's what the scripture says. Why would Paul write the scripture in Greek? No, why okay, would he say no, believe on the Lord Jesus? Why would he say that? It was it wasn't written. Okay. Why would he write so, it originally? It wasn't written. It was written. It was translated to Greek. Okay. It was really oh, the scriptures were, were yes. Thank you. So when he was okay, writing to the Ephesians and to the Galatians and to the Corinthians, he was writing to them in Hebrew? Say it again? When he was writing to the churches in Galatia and and if, and, and in Corinth, and, and when he was writing to the Ephesians, he was writing to them in Hebrew as well? Yeah. Yeah, he spoke Hebrew and he spoke Greek. Greek. Okay. Right. What? Well, it's just... Wait, just a second. Now, yeah, you like it short, I'm giving it to you short. Sure. That's it. I'm not telling you anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go Greek, ahead, brother. Speak. Speak Greek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Some of this speak. Would, he would speak Greek too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, when yeah. you come up and you're asking these questions, yeah. we know what you're going to say before you say it. Okay. Yeah. We, we, we oh, speak yeah. at this brother. Bring it up. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 1. I think, and it says, we just see to the point, it says, For the same things uttered in Hebrew uh -huh. and translated in another tongue uh -huh. have not the same force in them. Did you hear that? They don't have the same That's force, correct. the yeah, same I, power. I get that, yeah. Okay. Uh, I believe that. Go ahead. I believe that. And not only English is demonic. I agree with that. I agree with right. that. Agree with that. Well, he may have spoke to them in another tongue, but he still brought them back to the understanding of mm -hmm. the original pure language, yeah. which so, was the Hebrew. So what about right? English is demonic? Yeah. Why call on Jesus? Exactly. Right. I speak English. No, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, but we're giving you English. the proper right. name. Okay. Okay. If you're giving you the direction okay. to go into, yeah. and you're saying the direction that you're on is demonic. So why well, not go in that direction? I'm not saying that. But I do understand that English is a Babylonian type of language. Okay, so I understand is, that. Right. But I also pray in angelic tongues. Right? So what's the, so, what's the uh, according to the scripture, what's, what's the angelic tongue? tongue? Yeah, what's that? That? What are you talking about? What's angelic tongue? Joe, what about in the book of Daniel? That wasn't Hebrew that he was he was uh, translating. And that came from the Lord. No, he was writing Hebrew. He was writing Hebrew? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he was writing yeah. Hebrew. That's Hebrew? Yeah, that's Hebrew. Yeah. So why is only Daniel who can interpret it? I don't, I don't understand that. Interpret what? Interpret what? In the book of Daniel, I think it's the, the chapter dream? 5. The dream? When it's like... It's talking about Bob. No, the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. He's he's talking about the writing on the wall. No, he was writing on the wall. Oh, oh. For his people. We could go into the next chapter. Writing on the wall. Chapter 5. Chapter 5. Chapter 5. Let him get his question, but brother, finish what you've got there. You need to finish what you've got before we go on. Wait, it says not only... So, let me read it again. Right? It says, for the same things uttered in Hebrew yes. and translated in another tongue mm -hmm. have not the same force in them. Yes. And not only these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference. Hey, somebody get me the word okay. force. One of your brothers get I the word force. force. I says, like, continue, tell you that you can use force. Yeah. But the law is not saying that in Hebrew. Okay. Nothing yes. in the Bible permits that. Okay. The word force, man. Yeah, he's getting it. Is that it? I'm just saying in Hebrew. Okay. Say that. Force in the etymology, etymology yeah. online, uh, physical strength, courage, fortitude, violence, power, compulsion, um, strong, mighty, firm, steadfast, brave, bold. It's pretty straight forward. Fortitude, fortitude, power. fortitude. Power. Yeah. They don't have the yeah. same power. Like you said. Yeah, yeah. Like you said. English language is demonic. Demonic. So if oh, we're telling, speaking it right now. Right. We're so speaking it right now. So if I'm telling you, so are we gonna go to hell? 
Is she Holoshai English? That's not the point. That's not the point he's making. Please listen. Is she Holoshai English? Right. I don't so, think I don't think you can't call guy Yahweh. I'm not saying no, that. No, no, no. That's, that's not I my point. I think it's a beautiful name. Man. That's not my point, man. Just slow down. You said with your own tongue, the English language is demonic, okay? So then Jesus Christ is English. Okay. Yes? What? There's a translation for the word. No, no, no. Yes no. no? Listen to what okay. he said. He said yes. Jesus Christ is right. English. Stay that's with right. him. Stay with right. him. Right. Okay. English. Preach that. Preach that. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, I hear you. Okay, you can sit. So this is this is for the last days on the children of Israel on how they're going to receive the name of the Lord. All right. So if you don't receive it this way, then you have a, then you have an issue. You have a spiritual problem, and you need to take it up with the Lord Himself. Okay. All right. So this is what it is. It's how it's written. So this is uh, Baruch chapter two, verse twenty-nine, and it says, "If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, okay. where I will scatter them." For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, very rebellious. They don't want to listen to nobody. That's Israel. Yeah. But in the land of their captivity, that's right, this was a place of our captivity, we had slavery, yeah. Native Americans, they lost their land, it was yeah. a place of this hell. Yeah. They shall remember themselves. So we're remembering ourselves right now, just like the Lord said. Uh -huh. The name, the laws, the commandments, everything. Yeah. And shall know that I am the Lord their power, mm -hmm. for I will give them an heart, and it ears to ear. So that's yeah. talking about your, your mind and your spiritual IQ. Yeah. Right? Yes, yes, yes. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Mm -hmm. So thinking upon the name mm -hmm. of the Lord, what is the true name of the Lord? Mm -hmm. Yahweh. Okay. Or Yahweh Shai. Okay. That's thinking upon the name. Okay. Right? So it says, and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deed. So before, oh, before we were stiff necked, we were calling on Jesus. Right before yeah. we were calling on Jesus, okay. we were calling on Allah, saying it in the Greek, saying it in uh, Arabic. Okay. That's not the way to go. Because yeah, yeah. now we came back. So it says, okay. and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers. So what did our fathers do in the ancient world? What were they speaking? Hebrew. So there you go. Aren't we going to go into the Hebrew? I just read it. Right? We're going to be going into the Hebrew. We're going to be looking up. Even though we speak English, okay. we're going to be looking up our heritage in the Hebrew and the Greek. And the stuff that are that are that are that, are, that the word was uh, translated in. Okay. That's how we get the understanding. Okay. Right. Okay. So if you're not doing that, and if you're not seeing the name of the Lord, and okay. you know the you know you know the information, you know what you're supposed to do. Okay. You have a problem. I hear you. Right? I, got, I got a precept for you. I hear you. No, brother. Okay. A couple a couple more. It says, okay. for they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now who sinned? Who sinned? Who was given the law? Right. Right. It was the Israelites. So this is talking about Israel. Because we were given the law yeah. on, on Mount Sinai. That's right. Right? That's right. So it says, and I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people. Now, if if he's going to make an everlasting covenant yes. and he's going to be their power, yes. don't you think he's going to make sure that they call upon his name in the Hebrew? Right. Of course. Probably. Of course. Because Probably. Was, what, what's the covenant, what is the covenant no, about? No, 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 it's no, no, full no. of the law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. So what comes with the law, statutes, and commandments? The Hebrew, the authentic version of how we worship okay. the Lord. So right. we're going to say the Lord's name authentically. I hear right? I hear so you can't say Jesus. That ain't going to fly. Yeah. The Lord ain't going to answer to that. Hey, he doesn't know well, what I'll, Jesus means. Do you know what it means? It means the pig of the earth. Hey, right. Do you have that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got it. You have yeah. no clue. Yeah, yeah, Jesus is a compound oh, get word. Get the G. Can you with me, brother? I just okay. something to say. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. I'm just speaking to what the elder said. Jesus is a compound word. It's G. J E is geo, right? Which is goes to the earth. Sus is sus, which is pig, or so it means earth pig. Right? So that's one reason. In what language? Latin. <laughs> Latin and Greek. So it's Latin. <laughs> right. And the J, J-E, it can be also um, translated as geo. And you know geo, what does geo mean? It means the world. But right, it can also mean the earth. I feel like you're like kind of stretching it. Like, yeah, stretching it. Yeah. Yeah. Even the precept you'll understand. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you'll you're saying, you're saying the right precept. thing. Right. The precept. You're right. Right. Proverbs 30 and 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Mm -hmm. Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? Right. I brought that out because of what the brother was saying. Right. It's, it's, you have to take that up with the Lord if you can't get it. But if you 
I can give you the raw information. Right. I can give you the secular history. I can go into the scriptures. Yeah. But ultimately, you have to pray upon the Lord to give you that faith. Because what we are doing right now, you would ask that question, what we're doing. What we are also doing is rehearsing the righteous acts. So it's important to have that name now. Right? right. Some people will say creator of the universe. That's why it asks you. I created you. Right. Well, that's the question here. Who, who created the heavens? Who that's created right. the earth? Who that's did right. all this? That's what's right. His what's his name? That's what I asked you, right? Okay. So, this is Zephaniah, Zechariah 14 and 9. Okay. It says, And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. So it's only one name that the Lord is coming by. Presents itself by. And that's Yahweh, and his son's name comes with Yahweh Shah. So do you think that in heaven or in God's kingdom, we're going to be speaking Hebrew? 100%. Well, what about in Revelations where it says you'll come bearing a new name? Okay. It's, it's, let's get it. Let's get let's it. Get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I won't be evil. I got the answer. I won't be evil. It's an angelic tongue. That's a brother get the scripture. I could have said that. Let the brother get the scripture. That's important. I don't mean to interrupt your time. You're not interrupting. You're taking that away. This is called edification. It's being filled. People at home are getting the knowledge that you're bringing up. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. But just so I hear Daniel chapter 5, verse 25. Hold that for a second. We're going to answer your question from Revelation. This is Revelation 3 and 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power. He shall go no more out, and I'll write upon him the name of my power, and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven. Overcomer, okay? Mm. Pull that word, overcomer. New just simply means refresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what it means. It's just refresh. Yeah. It's not brand new as in, it's a different name. It says my new name. Say so what you said, to, said before the brother. <laughs> Does brother. everybody in the world right now know the true name? The answer is no. So yeah. it's a new name for the people that don't know. Exactly. Right? And the condition, it's a new condition name that the Lord put on, put on us is what? That word overcomer. I have overcomers. Okay, all right. I got the word new. I got the word new. And this is in the Greek, right? So it says, the word, the word in the Greek is kainos. And it says, as respects from, recently made fresh, recent, unused, unworn. Unused. As respects substance of a new kind, unprecedented, novel, uncommon, unheard of. All right, heard of. And he explained that earlier. It would be new to the ones that didn't know him. I got one more unused. definition. To the ones that didn't know him. I got one more. That goes and that's the book of Revelation. It goes with respect to age. So it's about the respect that's put on it. That's why it's going to be made new. It's going to be fresh. There's going to be more respect. Because right now, people don't respect the true name of the Lord. Right? They crucified our Lord a second time. When you go back into the scriptures, a part of that is, is, uh, is, is tearing down his name and yeah. defacing his image, right? Yeah. So the image and the name is when they keep him on the cross. When they keep him on the cross, when he's risen, right? Yeah. You got it. The scripture came out already. Acts four twelve. Acts four twelve. Yeah. Remember that scripture. There is no other name in which we might be saved. Right, right. That's it right there. I agree. This is, this I agree. John 17 and 26, right? Okay. It says, And I have declared unto them thy name. Okay. To them it's speaking specifically about the elect of Israel. That's right. The elect will have That's the name. Right? right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And it says, And will declare it. Mm -hmm. Right? And, the, and, and that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. So simply put, we would have the name today. What's that name? Yahweh. 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 He's gonna call us by his own name? No, no, no. He's saying, he's saying that's the name that he's declared to us, right? To the elect. Okay, the ones okay, that are chosen, okay, they're gonna call Yahweh. 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 So whole everybody knows Jesus. Everybody knows that. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that. but it's everybody that character. That in the world. That's it's that character, man. You got some more? Yeah, yeah he's that's that's it. That's it. Isaiah 19, verse 18. In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan. He doesn't and know what that is. 
What is the language of Canaan? Because we've been talking about it for the last hour. Be quiet. Go ahead. Read, brother. Right. Listen to the scripture. I swear to the Lord of hosts, one shall be called the city of destruction. You ask us what we're doing. In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. So this is the land of Egypt. We're in Egypt. America, starting with America. Yeah. Okay. Right? The reason why is because America is coming the same energy as that kingdom. Yeah. It's Sodom too. Yeah. That sodomy. Yeah. All that same sex stuff. Yeah, yeah. Is all according to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Lord is bringing a lot of destruction to America in this world. Mm -hmm. Because it's in that energy, in that spirit. So we're in Egypt again. Right, the land of Canaan, which was given to the the Israelites, remember? The wilderness, the promised land, yeah. it's the land of Canaan, right? And in that land, we'd be speaking the pure tongue, right? the one language, okay? So what we're saying is that that's a prophecy of us now, because a, peop uh, a place is a people before it's a place. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah. So we're here now. Right, as Israelites mm -hmm. speaking in that land of uh, speaking in the language of uh, Hebrew. Okay, so we're speaking Hebrew. That's a pure tongue. So you so, guys all know. Sorry, go on. Yeah, yeah. That's why we go into it. We're not proficient, but right, we right. know the main things. Yeah. The name of the Lord. Uh, the name of the name of the Son. Okay. Right. The, the Mark of the Beast. That's Greek. Okay. So that's Kerasma. Okay. All those things that are needed to know. But in the Second Covenant where everything has to be perfected, we're going to know that language na uh, naturally. Perfectly. Right. By the Spirit. Yeah. By the Spirit. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. But back to that name thing, that's what you have to, you have to, that's, that's the name that right. he said that he's given to his people to call. Right. Why well, isn't the meaning of the name more important? So what is this? Remember you said unused, right? right? Yes. You said unused. Yeah. So, Yahweh Shai, that name means he is a deliverer. Right. Was it used? Right. Did he play out that name, in other words? Yes. So yes. it was used. Yes. Right? Right. So the meaning name does does make sense. Jesus doesn't mean... He just broke down what that word meant. Right, right. It didn't mean anything to do with Savior. Right. Yahweh Shai means he is a deliverer. Okay. And so is this the same name that uh, is a... To Joshua, like a guy who All led the Israel into the promised land? All the prophets. Like, you know Joshua, the book of Joshua? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which means he yeah. saved. That's what Joshua thing. did. Right? He led Israel. So I think what's more important is what the name means. You hit the nail on the head. You just said it. Yourself. You just said it. Yourself. Yeah. Yeah. What it means yeah. is the most important thing. So right. You know, right. 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 Yeah. But we're asking the question, what is his name? You have not told us, but yeah, we've been yeah, telling yeah. you all along. He's, still, he's, he's getting it, though. But he's getting it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he said it. Yeah, Something strikes some light, yeah, some, some fire. still need to know the name, though. I know what you're saying. What it yeah. means, but yeah. you still need to know the name. I hear yeah. that. I hear right. that. You're not saying that name. He's not hearing you. Yeah. Right? Because now, actually, let me bring this up before I start talking. Okay, so, okay, so John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. So now right. you can't say you didn't know the name. Yeah. Right. So you yeah. brought the name to you. So yeah. if you go calling Jesus, you just said it's demonic. Right. Like, look, you're playing a dangerous game. This is spiritual okay. things. Right? Okay. I, we're hear trying to, we're trying to, I hear you. If you're an Israelite, you. You're Israelite you know, we're trying to bring you back into the fold. Yeah. All you guys. You gotta, this is yeah. serious. It's not a joke. We're yeah. not out here to play games. Yeah, we're, I'm we're not playing games. Right? Not playing games. Okay. Yeah. This is serious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bring that up. No, Acts 5, 29? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acts 5, verse 29. Mm -hmm. And Peter said to the apostles and answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. Mm -hmm. And the Most High of our fathers raised up Yahawashai, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. That's right. Him he exalted the Most High on the right hand to be a prince, a That's savior, right. and to give right. repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. That's it. That's right. So that goes into the meaning of his name. Yeah, right? I hear that. That's like your brother said, is you have to know the name. I hear that. I'll have another precept. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is uh, Zechariah 13, Zechariah 13 and 8. Yeah. This is talking yeah. about the prophecy that's going to fulfill yeah. the nation of Israel in America. Right? So they're going to call upon Yahweh. Right? Mm -hmm. So it says here, 
Zechariah 13 and 8, and the point will be made in verse 9. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, save the Yahweh, Hashem Yoshai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Meaning two thirds of our nation, 66.6%, right. is going to die over here in the land of Babylon, right. or America. Yeah. But the third shall be left therein. So there's one third, right? One third of the nation is going to be destined for salvation. Yeah. And I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is refined. So they're going to go through trials and tribulations. Uh, Zechariah chapter 13 and 8. Was it not God made that come to pass already? No. This is talking about what's going to happen in the future in America. Right? So this is a I'll just hold up. And this gives you the breakdown of who's who. So the two thirds, 66.6%. You got the one third, and you got the 144,000. Right, right. So these two are destined for salvation, and they're going to be the ones calling upon the name of the Lord. Right, right. The rest of the nation, they're not going to care about the Lord. They're going to die here. Right. So that's what I'm reading. Right. Okay, so it says, And I will bring the third part to the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, <laughs> and they shall say, Lord, the Lord, which when you translate the Lord, it goes into Jehovah, and when you yeah. translate Jehovah into yeah. the Hebrew, it's Yahweh. Yeah. So you see the name, it's yeah, Yahweh. I am, I am, or well, He is to be. Yeah. I am that I am. He would say that in the first person. I am that I am to you. That's right. But when we call Him, it's He is to be. That's correct. Right? right. So it says, the Lord is my power. So it's telling you that the elect and 144,000, they're going to be saying the name. Yeah. Because you just saw it. It says the Lord in capital letters. Right. And when you translate that, yeah. that's Yahweh. Yeah. So in the future, that's what they're going to be calling upon. Okay. So that's just more proof for you. Okay. And that's written in the scriptures. We're not okay. making this up. No, I, I hear you. I, I hear you. I got a precept. I hear you. I got a couple. Um, first one, Malachi 1 and 14. Okay. But cursed be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male and voweth, and sacrificeth unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, and saith Yahweh of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. Sorry, we also we also have over two two hour drive ahead of us too. So at some point we're gonna have to stop talking. But, but yeah, read that. Read that. Read that. Um, Isaiah forty five verse seven. I form the light. I create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Simple. Right. So the Lord does all of it. Okay. Okay. I, I got the. So account. Elohim is demonic as well. No. <laughs> it's, it, in the Hebrew, it's Elohim, and it just okay. means God's in the plural. He used to be feared. Yeah. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and is safe. Right? So what does Yahweh Shai's name mean again? Did you catch that? Deliverance. It also means salvation. Salvation. Salvation is to be safe. To be saved. Right? So the, the name is very, very, very important. Mm -hmm. It's one of the keys. Our elders teach us that it's one of the keys to salvation is the name. I believe it's, it's the powerful. names. And you Absolutely. know what? The you were is, we were all created from Hebrew. And you know what? The thing right? is, the reason why it's a strong power is because really what's going on here is a spiritual demonic uh, fight. Okay. And the demons, demons that jump on people, they won't back down to Yahweh or to, uh, to uh, Jesus? Jesus Christ. They hear Yahweh, they're going to back down. Because even demons. the demons serve the Heavenly Father. Okay. I brought it out so in Malachi why, 1 and 14. It's a strong tower. And it's dreadful amongst the heathen. Okay. We're saying we can't it's cast out the... demons in Jesus' name because I've no. been doing that. I didn't work with this. I got, uh, yeah. Yeah. I got something for you to, to prove the account that the name of the Lord is dreadful among the 
Okay. So, so I hate to do this, but is it okay if that's the last thing? Because we. I just have one more question. I only got one more question. I only got one more question. We just look at it. So I'll read this and you bring it. Where's the one that's asking? So he's going to read this and then bring a question, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. So this is Joshua chapter 2, uh, verse uh, 8. It says, And before they were laid down, she came up unto them on the roof. This is Rahab the harlot, who was a spy to them from Israel. And she said unto the, unto the men, I know that the Lord hath given you the man, and that your terror is fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. Because of what happened in Egypt, what transpired, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So, uh, verse ten: For we have, we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when He came out of Egypt, and what He did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan, Sion and Og, mm -hmm. whom He utterly destroyed. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we heard, we had heard these things, our hearts did melt; mm -hmm. neither did there remain any more courage in any man right. because of you. For Yahweh, your power, he is a power in heaven above and in earth beneath. That's so right. this, this lady actually believed in the Lord. She's not from the nation of Israel. That's right. And she's using the name. That's right. Right? She's That's saying right. Yahweh. That's right. Right? So so it just and, shows you more Hebrews, proof they're scared. Hebrews talks about the faith of Rahab too. And how she'll be in the kingdom, right? And she was no in no way a lost Israelite. Because that was before Israel was even scattered. Well, she wasn't, she's not a lost Israelite. 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 Well, how could she be saved then? Okay, she she it didn't, be saved. It didn't just say listen, she was just saved. Just listen, remember, the kingdom's going to be on earth. Yeah. The kingdom's coming here. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, all the other nations, everything are going to be here. They're going to be here. Yeah. Now, what role they play in the kingdom? That's a whole other conversation. Yeah, sure. You will be a light to them. True. True. That's your last question. So, so just my last question. Yeah. Yeah. So, according to this chart, if I'm Mexican, you can't be from the tribe of Judah. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Most definitely can. Just yeah. Yeah. Most Mexican, most Issacharites are in that land. Right. 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 But yeah. you're going to have Judites there, you're going to have Benjamites there, right? You know that Judite prophecies yeah. of where they ended up. And just, just uh, Jesus said that to Nicodemus, unless you're born of water and the Spirit, okay. you cannot see the kingdom of God. All right. Right? So, and I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. So therefore... Jesus? I'm, the I'm covered in the blood of, <laughs> of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. I'm covered in his blood. It. That's right. So therefore, I'm from the tribe of Judah. Because I've been born right. again. If you believe right? that, that's good. Yeah, yeah if you right? believe that, that's good, man. It's his blood. Yeah. I mean, the blood of the that's lamb, the, the lion of Judah. Yeah. And, right? to, and to your point on Daniel, that was um, written in Aramaic, and Yahweh Shai spoke Aramaic. As well. And so how can anyone be covered in God's blood be from any other tribe than Judah? No, 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 Hold on. He oh, said, "Remember, we read, we, we read." I'm royalty. It was good. Zion, bro. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. Zion. Absolutely. We all are. Now, Zion is a tribe of twelve of twelve nations. Yeah. yeah. Not just one. Yeah. yeah. Remember those those uh, those people in Israel right now. All they ever talked about is Judah. Yeah. But what about Benjamin? What about Levi? That's true. Those are the same tribes that came to the wilderness. You can't yeah. exclude them out. Okay. Right? I hear that. I hear that. Uh, what priest did I call for? This brother's from the tribe of Judah. Okay. 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 John 6 Me too. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. That. okay, so John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. Mm -hmm. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Amen. Right. Because you mentioned the, the water. Yes. Right? So yes. when John was here, he baptized with the real water. Yes. But he said who would come after him was baptized with fire. Fire. So that's the Holy Spirit. That's correct. to give out to his men, guess what that means? They're going to have the correct understanding of the Lord's doctrine. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. They're going to speak the correct you. understanding. I hear you. Pray, on it, Pray on it, man. Pray on it. You want to be Judah when you got spirit like a Benjamin. Yeah, you do. Yeah, man. Hey, pray. pray I'll on take it. it as a compliment. I'll take it as a compliment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paul was a Benjamin. Exactly. Paul was Benjamin. Um, before he goes, I need to read one precept from the book of Micah. Okay. Somebody can get me Micah chapter 5, mm -hmm. 7, right? Yeah. Verse 7. Got it. Actually, uh, uh, so, yeah, uh, start. Okay. I got it. Yeah, 4 and 13. Seven, I know yeah. what you're after. Right? Yeah, yeah 7 to, yeah, seven to uh, 
Yeah, 79. 79? Yeah, just to the point. Yeah. Micah 5 and 7. And the, remnant, and the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people. Okay, just a second. So this is all, these, what do you explain? Jacob. Well, yeah, it means Jacob, Jacob. right? In the mm -hmm. translation. Mm -hmm. Which means, which means what? Like he wrestles with God, right? Israel. Israel, right? right? That's Jacob, right. the deceiver. You know what God Jacob means? Name. Not wrestle means with the God. Deceiver. Not wrestle, wrestle with God. God. He is a prince, prince of God. Yeah. He's yeah. a yeah. prince of the power. power. Okay. Yeah, sure. Allah. 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 That's what that means. Okay. There'll be other wrestling with him, even though two people are wrestling. Well, it tells you right there, he is, he is a prince of the Lord. When you, the name there? So, so after he wrestled with the angel, then he got a name. Right. That's, that's when you're getting confused. Right. That's how he got the new name. Right. That's all it is. I'll look at that. Yasha Allah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, and the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as a do from Yahweh. Many and people meaning all nations. That's right. There's 18 nations. Mm -hmm. We're on the top, but in this system, we're on the bottom. Right. Who, who, who's on the bottom? We're on the bottom. Yeah, Sha'al is on the bottom. Right? Yeah. That's why they're in the ghettos and they're in the reserves. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or if they're doing yeah. good, they've sold out to Satan. That's right. That's right. As the showers upon the grass that tarrieth not for man. Hey, can you tell? Can you tell? Can I tell? Hey, a lot of Israelites are walking around here, but some, a lot of them are dead. They're sleeping. No, dead. Yeah, they're sleeping. Yes, you're right. they you're right. are. You're right. They're dead. They're right. in the congregation of the dead. They're fast asleep. And in the four corners and in all nations. That's what that's going into. Yeah. And they look like everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah, we covered that earlier on, yeah? We covered that earlier yeah. on. As the showers upon the grass that tarrieth not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles. Oh, who? And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles. That's right. Gentile nations. Yeah, yeah. I hey, who put, I them there? who put them there? Who put them there? Who put them there? God scattered them. Oh, okay. wow. That's right. I hear that. That's right. That's right. I hear that. That's right. In the midst of many people, as a lion among the beasts of the forest. Yes. Didn't he say he was from, he believed from the tribe of Judah? Yeah. 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 Come on, man. Come on. Oh, that's good faith, man. That's yeah, good great faith. faith. Well, get that I'm name. born again. Yeah, I'm born again. Name, man. I'm born again. born again. Yahweh Shai. Got it. I'm born again. I'm born again. I'm born again. I'm born again. That's right. I'm born no. again. My mom didn't birth me into the tribe of Judah. My mom didn't do that. But God in heaven birthed me. The Spirit of God birthed me into the tribe of Judah. That's, that's the difference. That's the difference. Remember those names. That's the difference. That's the difference. Stay faithful to those names. Beautiful name, bro. Powerful, too. I agree yeah. with what you're saying about the Hebrew being powerful. I agree with that. I agree with that. You have to remember that we were created from the Hebrew. What's more powerful than that? Right? The spittle of his mouth and the Hebrew. He spoke the word. And we are manifested. And Yahweh Shai was manifested as the word. Yeah. The word. Think about that. That's, That's right. what we should have went. We should have right. went to John. The That's word. Right. So it's right. very important. I, I believe that. So do you know what, we, what the word Hebrew means? I do not. He just explained it. From if you past. listen from the past, that's what he was saying. Okay, okay. Okay. He was telling you. See? So you the ancient of days. The ancient yeah, of days. You've got to listen to yeah. what yeah. the yeah. answer yeah. is. Yeah, no, we're going to be I appreciate it. We're going to go. The spirits keep me here. Yeah. 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 That's the finish the precept here, for the that's edification of the word. If they want to go, they can go. Well, yeah, let me finish up. As a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he goes through, will cut down and tear to pieces, and none can deliver. There you go. So flocks of sheep, there's other Israelites in those places as well. But the top, the, the top, uh, 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 the top Israelites amongst the heathen, right? Most of those actors in those other countries that, uh, that, that look like heathen people, they're Israelites. Yeah. That's why we were talking about the Dalits and all of those things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you go into Bollywood, I'm just going to use India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell them about Bollywood that. is like the, it's like the, the Hollywood of uh, Asia, right? Like you, you see all you see how they come out the actors they look all beautiful they're very lively and how they dance and how they act they have a lot of salt a lot of flavor you know and that really goes back to these people that's why they remember the scripture says that Israel is like unto the salt of the earth right the salt of the earth means they have flavor they're in everything that's true okay all right we're gonna go <laughs> yeah thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for explaining it all. Thank you for. We're here. 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 We
do that. The yeah, yeah, for a reason. GMS Toronto? Alright, respect. Respect. Alright, God bless you guys. Alright, you take care of Show one. Show one. Show one. What is it? Show one. Shalom. Yeah, shalom. Yeah, shalom. Yeah, shalom. Peace to you. Peace. Yeah, Peace. Yeah. Godspeed. And when they say shalom? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Peace talk. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Peace. 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 stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name written in his forehead, written in their foreheads. And I heard a, I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters. Which means the, the, the reason why the, the Lord's name is written in their foreheads, in their foreheads, is when you go back to Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 9, those, those yeah. elect it said 144,000? Yeah, so that's a, a, a part of the elect, but the elect also includes the gospel. But the 144,000 was the government of, of, of the nation of Israel. They were given the exemption alongside with the other, the rest of the one third from destruction. Okay. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of Harpers harping with their harps, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the, the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty-four thousand. Yeah, that song is a parable or a metaphor for this truth, right? For the correct understanding of the Bible, and that's why I said earlier, if yeah, if the Lord gave. Yahweh Shai, the Holy Spirit, to give to his men, to the elect, guess what? They would have 100% understanding of his doctrine. And only they can receive it. So it says, um, 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. See, these are they. By the way, don't get that confused, man. Just because you have 100% truth doesn't mean you're perfect. You know, so just because we say that, you know, bring those stones here, that's not what I hope it doesn't mean we're trying to be high minded either. You know, because a lot of people say, oh, you can't say that. Well, why not? Teaching it, right? It, it means uh, having a perfect understanding of what you have. Understanding of what we were given. These are they which were not defiled with women, but they are virgins. Right, not liberal, but spiritual. Right, defiled with ones basically as a spirit. Yeah, if we, as soon as the elect heard this word as being the sheep of the Hebrew tribe, they never turn back, right? But you have men that have come into the truth and dally back in the world and other philosophies, so that means they're defiled with women. These are they which are not defiled with women, but they are great. But to ever he goeth, these were redeemed from among men being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile. Right, they were first fruits because they, after Yahweh Shai, they were the other spirits created. The first spirit created was Yahweh Shai. Then the second, all the way down to the 144th spirit, was the elect. And they there, then, 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 then that, and them, they what? They got the blueprint from the Lord and created everything that we see now. That's why they're called the first fruits. But uh, just go into the word redeem, because redeem means to buy back. Yeah. You know, what we 
were held for a ransom at one point. The Lord, you know, he took that uh, away. He bought us back with the sacrifice that he made. So in order for the first fruit, the 144, the, the elect, you know, Yahusha had to pay a big price, which was his life, to get us back here. You know, and that's what uh, a lot of our people, they take for granted. A lot of people in the truth, they know they have it, but they don't look at the sacrifice that Yahusha made. Yeah. That's why you have to, um, you really have to acquaint yourself with suffering mentally going to his point because the price you have I paid we're not we're not paying that price actually it says our affliction is light in comparison so you have to acquaint your mind with suffering because what you have did well he, he didn't just restore the elect and Israel but he actually through his sacrifice restored the whole world back to his proper order For they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven. So having the everlasting spirit. Right. That's right. Perfect spirit. That's right. Yep. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven. Having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth. And to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. Saying with a loud voice. Fear Yahweh and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. Right. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. And the fall and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Right. That's that's basically what we're here looking for, man, every single day. We're looking for that destruction of Babylon, right? Because we're trying to, we're trying to, we, the, the world is in need of new management. It's in need of new management, man. So and we're hoping, how Ratz said, we're of, we're of that number of, of, of managers to uh, bestow righteousness back on the earth. So that's it on that. That's good. That's it on that. We're going to close. We're going to give all praises and honor and glory to you. Yahweh, Hashem, all right, and double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do well, has taught his word in truth and sincerity, and peace and mercy to the whole full elect that also push his word in truth and sincerity upon the four corners of the earth. Brothers, we're not even done yet. We're okay. coming on. And uh, we're going to say a ba 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 ba